welcome to kitchen ballet number five. I'm sure I'll lose count at some point. So today I want to talk about tendu. Now tendu is a step that we really work on in ballet. You know, it's more of like a technique building step. Usually you're not going to see tons of tendus in choreography. So, but they all, tendus will manifest in many, many different steps in ballet. So, you know, much like math, <laughs> I like to equate ballet to math because it's the same thing if you don't really learn those technical layers before you go out there to dance, then you're gonna have a really hard time and you'll have to go back and do it all over again. So. This is what this is about, these little details that are really important so you can refresh on those if you're a trained dancer or a student coming up or just someone who wants to learn about all of that structure and those base steps. But tendus, we do a lot of tendus in ballet. I've had friends count how many tendus they've done throughout their career and really I should get that information because that would be fun. So let me know if you have any idea. We'll try to calculate it. But, but tendus are the way to strengthen the coordination between uh, shifting our weight not only from, not only shifting our weight from two feet to one feet one foot um, because we work from the ground up in ballet so we we start by brushing out our leg and holding it and forming it and shaping it so you're that's what you're working on in a tendu how do I shape that foot like we've been talking a little bit about how do I put my weight on one foot when I've been on two feet Right, and then because eventually we're lifting our legs in many different ways. We're either just lifting them up or we're, you know, developing them out or they're, you know, um, many different ways. So this is like the base of how we do that. It not only helps us, tendus not only help us with where to be on our legs so that we can do more complicated steps on one leg, two leg, but also how to extend our legs out in much of the technique later on that we do traveling and, and pirouettes and all of that. So I'm gonna just um, show you, we're gonna work in parallel first and once we turn out in a couple videos, I'm not sure when, but soon, we'll probably start turning out and learning about that and it will be the same thing but in a turned out form. But for tendu, you are brushing, there's an element of feeling a brush, friction on the floor I like to call it, because it helps you then point the foot, right? So you use the floor. You don't use the floor excessively, meaning you don't push into the floor and, you know, inhibit the tendu, but you use it to help propel it, right? I think that's a good way to think about it. Um, sometimes we do tendus, you know, we get up to doing them quickly, which is really fun, and that's a whole nother kind of, it's the same mechanics, but you have to kind of think about how to push those tendus differently and how to pull them in to your first or fifth or parallel or wherever you're doing them from. So we're just gonna start with that basic and I'm gonna move my coffee. If you know, it's so good, I love coffee. But let's talk about a tendu, let me show you, okay? Parallel. Okay. So we get into our position like usual. We always pull in our abdominals, right? Keep our shoulders down, get your structure. Just, I know I'm a little close, I have hands on hips, so I'll move back, right? Now when I start to do a tendu, I'm going to start it facing you and then I'll show you the sideways. But I start to, so I'm on two feet, right? And as I start to brush, I'm trying not to lift, but as I start to brush, I'm going to this one foot and I'm pointing my foot, right? And then I come back, soften my dummy point, right? And I pull the foot back. So I'm on two feet now. As I brush, right, as I start to brush, I'm gonna pull up over this hip, my left hip. That tendu is gonna be right in front of my other leg. Not too much, not out here. Right in front, I try to put it in front of the toe in this parallel position. And then I have to kind of, I do have to make room for it and my weight's on two legs. Okay, so let's look at it sideways. So I'm sideways, I'm gonna step back a little bit. Right, and as I start to brush, this is the side way, I brush my foot, and then it gets out to about here. I start to lift my arch, and then I pull the toes under. See that? I don't go out here. 
and lean on it. I pull them under because I want to stay on my standing leg. If I go out to it, then I'm off my standing leg, right? So here. So I want to pull up on this standing leg. I'm trying to show you. As I pull the arch up, I start to point my arch, my ankle, my arch. I pull it under, and at the same time, I'm engaging this hamstring. My glutes and my hip stays down. Don't let the hip come up. Right here. We go out and hold and in, and maybe a little slower. And brush and toes under. Soften the demi, foot is down around there and in. Right? One and out. Soften the demi, but we don't press on it. Soften and we're in. The whole time my muscles are taut. And in and in. And let's do a plie, yeah? Okay, so does that make any sense? If you've not done a tendu before, it might feel a little bit awkward, but just remember, you're on two legs. You start to brush, that brush pulls you over the standing leg. You let the arch, the ankle, the arch, toe comes under, and then softening it to brush back in. All right, so we're just gonna do front. Do front with each leg. I like to do things 10 times. I don't know, it's a number that I like. The other thing is practice your pointing, okay? So, um, <clears throat> right, and I'll do it kind of this way so you can see a little bit of the angle of my ankle. Coming up flex, knee straight. When I point, I push my demi, demi, toes, toes, foot, ankle, right? Push my ankle, my arch, push the demi, pull the toes down, pull the toes up and back, right? So work that, probably should have done that in the beginning, <laughs> but work that and then put together your plie, your releve, we did that last um, video. And now add this tendu into your practice, okay? So try to do it once a day, if you can, okay? And we can talk more about it and I'll do some foot exercises next video. But for now, just do the flex and point. Flex and point first, then try your tendu, all right? And let me know how it goes. And check out my website and come to my master classes in November and follow me and this is so fun let me know what you think all right have a great week bye